Being second in line to the Danish throne, people have always been curious about the eldest son of Crown Prince Frederick and Crown Princess Mary, Prince Christian of Denmark. Many are also drawn in by his charm and good looks, proof that he has clearly inherited his father's handsome features and his mother's good humour. There's no question that Prince Christian inherited both of his parents' good looks. So who is Prince Christian and how has the 17-year-old, who is half Australian, half Danish, flown under the radar until now? We've uncovered everything you need to know about this dashing young royal as he gears up to one day be king. When was Prince Christian born? The first child of Prince Frederick and Princess Mary, Prince Christian Valdemar Henry John, was born on October 15, 2005. Mary gave birth just before 2am at Riggs Hospital at the Copenhagen University Hospital in Denmark. In his first few days, Christian suffered from neonatal jaundice that gave his skin a slight yellow tinge. The condition is fairly common and usually harmless but he was examined by doctors and received light treatment before making a full recovery. As the first Danish royal heir born since his father in 1968, there was much celebration around Denmark and some in Australia when Christian arrived. Why is Prince Christian's name special? Frederick and Mary followed royal tradition when naming their son. In Denmark, each king alternates between the names Frederick and Christian meaning a son born to Crown Prince Frederick would be called, you guessed it, Christian. If Prince Christian grows up to have a son of his own, he could choose to continue the tradition and name the child Frederick. In a touching tribute to her Australian roots, Princess Mary also gave a nod to her father John Donaldson in Christian's middle name. What was Prince Christian's childhood like? On January 21, 2006, at Christianborg Palace Chapel, Months later, the royal bub would make his first visit to Australia at the end of 2006, when he was just over a year old. However, Mary and Frederick chose to keep their son's upbringing relatively private in his early years. Their 2006 visit to Australia was a private one, with the young family travelling to Tasmania to visit Mary's relatives rather than undertaking an official royal tour. In fact, it wasn't until 2012 that Prince Christian would attend his first royal engagement with his grandmother, Queen Marguerite II of Denmark. Just six years old at the time, the royal stole hearts across Denmark and Australia. Where did Prince Christian attend school? Mary and Frederick broke away from Danish royal tradition when they decided to enroll their son at preschool in 2007. He is the first Danish royal heir to attend preschool and went on to break more traditions when he started big school in 2011. That year, Christian became the first Danish royal to attend a public state school, Tranegardskolen in Hellerup. Her siblings followed suit in the years that followed. At the start of 2020, all four of the royal children began what was supposed to be a 12-week program at the Lemania Verbia International School in Switzerland. However, just weeks into their studies, the coronavirus pandemic hit and their parents soon withdrew them and returned to Denmark. Now Christian has begun the final years of his education at Halufsom School in Navestad, where he will be boarding with other students. What have Prince Christian's parents said about the young royal? Prince Frederick opened up about his son's arrival in the days after Christian was born, revealing he cried when Mary delivered their son. You don't stand there and act like Superman, he told the newspaper, BT. We men can't in our wildest dreams imagine what happens for the woman. Frederick also told reporters that baby Christian would sleep within an arm's length of his and Mary's bed. Meanwhile, Princess Mary has kept mum about, well, being a mum, though it's obvious that she adores each of her children and shares a special bond with her eldest son. She rarely shares details with the public about Christian. Will Prince Christian be king one day? Yes. Christian is currently second in line to the Danish throne after his father. Prince Frederick will take up the role of King of Denmark when his own mother, Queen Marguerite II, steps down or dies. When that happens, Christian will become his heir apparent and ramp up his training to one day be king. His younger sister, Princess Isabella, is currently third in line to the throne after Christian, but when he has children, she will be bumped down. 
Christian is styled as His Royal Highness Prince Christian of Denmark, Count of Monsapat. He has been Prince of Denmark since birth and Count of Monsapat since the 30th of April 2008, when Queen Marguerite granted the title to her male line descendants. In 2006, Scandinavian airline system was in the process of purchasing new Airbus A319 aircraft in Christian's honour. The first of these delivered on 8th of August 2006 was named Christian Valdemar Viking.